Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've got another cooking video for y'all today, and this time I'm cooking a very easy Chinese dish, mapo tofu. It is a ground meat and tofu dish flavored with black bean sauce and chili paste. It hails from Sichuan, China, a region famous for spicy food. Before we begin, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Here are the ingredients. You can adjust the recipe to your liking. I am choosing to add vegetables for more nutrition in this dish. Here is a bell pepper from my garden. And here is the equipment that I am using today. First, let's dry out the tofu. You will want to use medium firm tofu for this recipe. Place paper towel on a tray or a plate. Then, cut open the tofu package and drain out the excess liquid. As the tofu is drying, let's prepare some ingredients. Smash and chop three garlic cloves. And chop up some ginger. But don't do it too gingerly. Traditionally, mapo tofu is a meat and tofu dish. However, you can also prepare any vegetables you like for added texture and nutrition. Now we're going to chop up some green onion. And then we will grind up two teaspoons of Sichuan peppercorn. These peppers are very spicy and aromatic. You can adjust the amount of peppercorn to your liking. If you do not like spice, feel free to omit this step. Now that we have prepped the herbs, spices, and veggies, we are ready to cut the tofu. First, cut the tofu block in half down the middle. Then, cut the tofu into cubes, like so. Looking good, we are ready to get cooking. Now let's marinate the pork. I am adding two tablespoons of soy sauce, or Maggi in this case, and two tablespoons of Shaoxing wine. Stir the pork until it is no longer pink. Add 2 teaspoons of sugar and stir. Move the pork over to one side of the pan and add the garlic, ginger, and any vegetables you have prepared. Cook for about 5 minutes. Move all the ingredients to one side of the pan and add 2 tablespoons of black bean sauce. I personally really like black bean sauce, so I'm adding a little bit more. And 2 tablespoons of chili paste, or dobanjiang. Stir the sauces together first to activate them, before mixing them in with the rest of the ingredients. Stir for a few minutes. Now I'm going to add some chicken stock for added flavor. You can substitute with water, though it is much better to use stock. Stir and let simmer for a few minutes. The sauce will thicken as it simmers. After about 5 minutes of simmering, we are now ready to add the tofu. Be careful not to break the tofu as you pour it in. Add 
Add one and a half to two tablespoons of cornstarch. This will help to thicken up the sauce. Now add the Sichuan peppercorns, as much as you like. Finally, add the green onions and stir them in. Now it is ready to serve. This dish is traditionally served with rice. You can choose to omit the rice for a low-carb diet. I am pairing this dish with sweet choya umeshu. I hope you enjoyed this recipe everyone. This dish is very easy and does not take long to prepare. Let me know in the comments if you plan to make mapo tofu at home as well. And please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye!